everyone, and welcome back to No Man's Land for episode 5 in the uh, No Tractor Challenge that we're doing here. Now, uh, as you can see, we are driving very erratically in our lorry. <laughs> uh, we've just delivered uh, possibly the fourth or fifth load of silage, uh, 22,500 litres of per load, uh, to the BGA. Uh, that has been processing nicely. We've got uh, most of this bunker cleared out now, uh, except for one tiny hiccup in the corner. Uh, what we've done, we've basically just loaded it all into the... Um, uh, oh, that was the wrong button. It was this one. Uh, we loaded it all into the uh, silo there, as you can see. And um, that was just easier than trying to go up and down and load it into the trailer all the time. So we're just going to turn that off for now. So we'll be looking for a, a pay increase or payment coming in sometime in the next nine game minutes. But the problem we've got, and as you can see, we've purchased a conveyor belt as well. That's why our money has gone down a bit. Uh, that was like five five grand or 5,100 because we painted it class green. But uh, yeah, we've got this little thing over here in the corner. And according to this, we've got 10,000 litres of silage left. But we can't scoop this. There's literally nothing that uh, will work to scoop it. And I, I did try a number of things to see what was going on. I think what the problem is, when I placed this, I had um, the uh, placement thing, the free place option turned on, and I stuck it in a tree. Now, I didn't think that would be a problem because it's not technically in the bunker. You know, like standing here, we don't get any actual reference for it. But I wonder if that's caused a bit of a problem. Because you know, the um, bucket won't pick up this at all. It just drives up it like, like it's a piece of terrain. But as you can see on the top left there, it still says we got 10,000 odd litres. So uh, the reason for buying this specifically, if I turn it on now, uh, we did find out that there's some sort of magically disappeared silage in here. So if I turn this on... It sucks up the silage, and then if I dump it here, uh, what it's going to do is... It's wrong way. Go back this way a bit. It's going to fill the silage from somewhere, but I'm not quite sure where. And there's something in the order of three or 4,000 litres of silage extra that has just been, like, hiding somewhere. I'm not quite sure where. I don't know if it got pushed through the sides or up the back of this thing, or quite what's going on. Uh, it's not picking it up from the other silo over there, because that's uh, currently, um, what do you call it, uh, closed still. But uh, yeah, so it's it's been very peculiar. So uh, what I'm just going to do is straighten this up a little bit, because it seems to pick it up from, like, a massive range away and uh, let's turn that off now no, turn that off and uh, we're just gonna pop this back here for a minute get oh god I always forget which way round they are and it confuses me so much <laughs> uh, yeah so let's um, just pick up that spare bit of stuff now okay that is going to be yeah, it's like 3,000 litres odd of just random silage. And I've no idea where that came from. Now, I don't think there's any more in here at all. Yeah, because that's only dropped to like a thousand at most. But somehow we've ended up with... Oh, there's more. Okay, we are... Let's stop unloading, see if it picks up anything else. Anything else? Doesn't look like it. So if we unload that, that's going to put a little bit more in there. I'll just bring it along. Yeah, I, I have literally no idea where all this extra silage is coming from. But this thing seems to pick it up, so I'm not going to complain there. So we've rescued uh, something like three... About 4,000 litres, I'd say, after this. Now, we've picked that up. So, if I go over here, hopefully... Yeah, it's loading it into the bucket there. That's smashing. 
I don't think there's going to be any more weird uh, silage pickups from down the side here or anything. No, I think we're we're fine. So yeah, that's all been very strange. Not sure at all what's happened with that, why it's done that, or quite frankly, what's going on. <laughs> but uh, either way, that's a thing. So uh, yeah, I'm just going to drive this over and shove it in the hedge over here out of the way. But uh, yeah, so uh, the only way we can fix that silo is, uh, if I just get over here, park this, there we go, let's turn that off, okay, hop in this, see what we've ended up with, yeah, about three, just under 4,000 litres of extra silage from, I don't know where, it's very strange, so yeah, we'll just pop that in there, and that can fill up the trailer, and then we'll run that over. And I just forgot to look up at the uh, clock, and since we have now passed over the uh, hour mark, we are now up to 68 grand. That's not half bad. Let's check the production there. Okay, so it doesn't have any uh, anything else left in it. Now, we did set the digestate to storing. So I'm up to thinking about that. If we are going to... Um, be doing a lot of this and we've got like another 2,000 odd litres there then maybe see yeah it's not picking this up at all it still says there's 2,000 uh, just under 10,000 litres in there but yeah um, yeah so uh, we decided to put the digestate on storing instead of selling primarily because uh, what we are going to do with it is um, actually use it so uh, in the long run um, what I'm planning on doing is, if I could figure out where I'm going, <laughs> uh, yeah, we're going to actually use the um, use the digestate instead. So we'll be picking up a, uh, a digestate spreader tank at some point in the not too distant future, possibly when one goes on sale or, you know, and as if by magic, another box of tomatoes appeared. <laughs> So, yeah, so we'll leave this over here for now. Oh dear, hang on. That's better. Oh, the greenhouse is having a bit of a spray. Uh, that's probably going to need more seeds in the not too distant future. So, we may have to uh, see about that as well. Uh, but yeah, so uh, let's get this last uh, last load over to the thing. And as you can see again, we are losing the light. Oh yeah, now in order to fix this, um, the only way I know of, and hang on, if I move in here, there we go, you can see it's still saying there's 9,700 litres. So far as I know, the only way to get rid of this is to um, do the landscaping and uh, uh, just sort of delete it that way. Now, fortunately, we can landscape inside of this thing. Uh, at least within the, uh, uh, what do you call that, um, uh, in, in the bunker itself. So uh, what I'm going to do is basically just smooth this off. It shouldn't cost us anything because it's flat already. And uh, we're just going to knock that off. And as you can see on the left, the uh, silage count is going down. And it is now set back to zero. So, yeah, not sure what has caused that. think it's that tree. We'll just have to avoid putting anything in the corner there next time, I think. And um, just try and keep it on the right-hand side until we get enough. Uh, actually, how much did this cost? Uh, was it silos? I'm trying to think which one it was now. No, it's not that one. Ah, it's these. 15 grand. Okay, so, yeah, we'd have to knock it off like that, and then, uh, yeah, okay. Overlaps with that. Yeah, so what we'd have to do is knock that one off, delete that tree, and then um, that would involve getting a uh, stump grinder, which we don't have at the moment. So, yeah, uh, I think we can, 
what can we do with this? We should be able to. Oh, it's right stick to select it. Yeah, we can sell it for seven and a half grand, so that's not too bad. Uh, we may, yeah, like I say, we're going to do that at some point. Uh, but anyway, um, let me get this last load of stuff over to the, uh, uh, the uh, BGA, load that in, and then uh, we'll probably call it a night, because there's not too much else to do in the, if I could drive straight, that would help, <laughs> in the dying light of the uh, of the day. So we've got uh, four fields, or three fields and one grass field. We got the uh, the wheat, the barley, the canola, and a grass field on the go, so that's good. Uh, we are also going to turn that area on the right into a grass field as well, probably. Um, I may try and avoid using that uh, first bunker silo just until we get a bit more money or a uh, um, stump grinder so we can just get rid of that because that's annoying at best and disastrous at worst. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Anyway, that's not not going to be a massive problem in the long run, I don't think. So we'll just plunk this in here. Uh, we'll probably get another ten grand, maybe I would guess, off of that. Because I mean, we put uh, close to ninety odd thousand liters, I'd say, in there, and got um, forty two grand or so off of it. So, um, yeah, I'd reckon we'll probably get another 10, 10 12 grand, maybe. But, uh, yeah, so uh, we should head back to the farm, have a bit of a snooze, and see you all in the morning. Well, good morning, everyone. It is now December, and uh, our fields are plodding along nicely. We've got uh, some good growth on, uh, on the barley here, and uh, the wheat over there, and... The canola is just starting over there. Not too bad. But first things first, uh, we are going to get some chickens. It's about time we got them on the go. Because we are going to need to sell like uh, a, a truckload of egg pallets, basically. So let's have a go in here. And uh, not roosters, god no. We don't want 60 roosters. Uh, we are going to buy two lots of uh, 60 chickens, uh, the full size ones because we want them to start egging as soon as possible. Uh, so we're going to get... Um, yeah, which is, oh, it's X to buy. There we go. We are going to get one. And... Uh, let's see... Select... Get two. Lovely. And uh, we are also going to buy, not 60, but two roosters. Now, I've no idea what uh, value the roosters play in uh, Farming Simulator 22. Uh, I know in um, Seasons on FS19, you had to have a certain amount of roosters per chickens in order for breeding to uh, be a thing. But, uh, hey, we got some chickens. We've got a whole mess of interesting coloured chickens in there, considering I just bought white ones. But hey, not going to complain. And there's our two roosters. Well, there's one rooster. The other one is hiding somewhere. Probably indoors, having a kip. Not a problem. Lovely. So next thing we are going to need to do is get some food in them. So we did buy these bags of wheat. And if I'm careful, I might be able to uh, get them out from in here. That would be very handy indeed. But not if I do it like that. Maybe if I try it through uh, this view, because I think we are going to need to widen that. Is that big enough? What am I doing? Ah, there we go. That perhaps a bit wider. Perhaps a bit higher. Lower. I'm hitting that one on completely the wrong side. There we go. Am I going to be able to get all four of them? That would be glorious, but potentially... Oh, no, there we go. I have managed to get all four of them. If I can get out of here, that would be a miracle. That is awesome. Now, I'm not going to plonk all of them in there. 
because I don't know how much these chickens are going to need. So um, what we are going to do is pop them down there for a minute, back up and take two over. So let's see how this goes. Uh, to be fair, I'm thinking it's probably going to take all of all of those bags of feed regardless. But there we go. See that just dropping in there. And if we have a look at the chickens, they are getting some grain. Lovely. That's good. And uh, we shall... Oh, well, we took all of them. Okay, so they've got 2,000 litres of grain, and they're not looking that happy. Well, let's put the other two in there as well then. Might as well. That is not going to uh, be a bad idea, I don't think. If I wasn't too far up in the air. Lovely. Grab them up. Pull them around. And, uh, yeah, I could go ahead and buy all 360 chickens, but I figure, you know, we don't need to, uh, to get them going at, like, full whack straight off the bat. Yeah, that's not, uh, not a massive thing. And plus it gives us time to grow some more barley and wheat to toss in there, as we need. So, uh, we shall see how those get on. I would guess it would take uh, a few little bits of time just to uh, switch over and do the um, do the thing. Uh, what's the thing I'm trying to say? Uh, get the reproduction going. Uh, but for now, the next thing we are going to do is deal with our greenhouses because they are in need of some attention. Now we've decided to go uh, full bore on the salads because uh, we'll make uh, a little bit more money doing salad than we would just sell in the, um, the products. So, that's, that's as far out as they're going to go. So if I get in a little bit... Yeah, get that down. Probably have to go in a tootsie bit more. Yes. You know, quite see what I should do is get a big bag lifter, perhaps. That might be the, uh, ah, there we go, that's better. Yeah, a big bag lifter or something to pick these up with might be a slightly better option. Um, but yes, uh, we've stopped the production on the greenhouse this morning when it got to, um, uh, what was it, just over 3,500 litres of tomatoes in storage. And so they are going to keep uh, pooping out there, <laughs> which is not a problem. So what we are hopefully going to do is... Crumbs, they have nudged themselves off that side a bit. Let's go back around here and give them a gentle poke in. I think when I put those on the other time, I didn't quite get it as straight as it could be. So we are just going to give them a little nudge and slide it back on. should be about... oh, we can go a little bit more even. That's about there. Perfect. And the same with the other ones as well. Just give it a little nudge, get them straightened up, and on the thing there. So, uh, yeah, essentially, oops, if I don't dig the uh, prongs into the ground, that'd be nice. And, of course, I've gone and made it a bit wonky on the end now. That's lovely. Yeah, that'll do. Let me just nudge this one a tiny bit more. Smashing. Okay, yep, so we are going to need to uh, continue grabbing these off. And then, um, most likely, we'll fill it with as much uh, lettuce and tomato as we can. I need to watch out for that field. And uh, we'll get it, get it all loaded up and uh, probably come back in once we've... Uh, Got this down to the um, yeah, but, uh, production building. I don't want to call it because it's a multi-production building, so I can't really call it a bakery or a, a shop or anything quite like that because it's uh, it's not one of anything. 
Yes, so I shall have fun with pallets and um, see you all back in a little bit. Oh great, they keep spawning. <laughs> well, we did have 35,000 litres stashed in there, so I can't say I'm surprised. Can't say I am surprised at all. Lovely. Okay, so yeah, I shall get this done. I'll see you all back in a bit. Okay, here we are now. We finally got the trailer loaded with uh, a lovely amount of uh, produce from the greenhouses there. Uh, now, as you can probably see in the bottom right corner, we've got uh, 7,000 litres each of tomatoes and lettuce, which is fantastic. So let's uh, head on to the outside view and see what's occurring there. Yeah, you can see it's... Uh, not looking so bad. So we are going to pull up in here and see what happens. Hopefully it's all going to start coming off. Did I miss the thing? What's going on? It, oh no. Is this going to be one of them things where it's a bit too low? It, it is, isn't it? That's going to be really annoying. <laughs> Hang on. Let's pick that up again. It started taking some of them and then stopped. Ah, there we go. That's because I was in the wrong spot, wasn't it? Okay, I see. So, let me back the old trailer in here and I wonder why that grass hasn't grown that's a bit odd I may have to try repainting that or something ok it looks like it's uh, taken from everywhere so that's good ok yeah I, I was thinking this was the unloading point but that's where the pallets come out when it's ready so uh, let's find the uh, Oops. Turn that strap off. Find the end. Oh, hello. Are we full? Oh no, it's still going. I've got to find where the um, production button is. Where are you, production button? Around here somewhere, I'm sure. Maybe it's this one. Oh, it is this one. Okay. So, yes, we are still increasing our literage. Do I, I may have to move this a minute. Just to... Yeah, there we go. Just to let it cooperate a bit more. No, yes. Still going down, still going down. Lovely. Okay, well, we'll let that go. And uh, come back over here and have a look in the thing. So, yeah, we've got... Uh, what are you doing over here? Why are you not unloading these last two boxes? <laughs> no, still... Oh, it did. Okay, smashing. Okay, let's try this again. There. Oh, somehow we've lost two litres of both. But that's okay because there's nothing actually producing at the moment, so far as I know. Yeah. Got nothing on the uh, the go there, so I don't know quite how we lost uh, two litres, but oh well. Uh, yeah, so what we are going to do is get the old mixed salad on the go there, activate that, and we want it uh, to store. Where did I pass it? There it is. Yes, that's storing the mixed salad, so that's perfect. So, yeah, we shall let that um, chunter away and do its thing. Not quite sure where my extra two litres have disappeared to. Maybe if I go forwards and backwards a little bit, get the trailer fully through that little drop-off point, we'll see how it does. I don't know if there was any extra on there there's nothing nothing showing but you never know <laughs> so yeah that is going to chunter away happily now 
And we are... Yeah, it's in this area didn't do it either. How strange. Maybe we just don't have a growing grass texture anymore. Odd. Let me have a quick look at that. Unless it's something weird, like... Uh, maybe it's not under paint anymore. Okay, I see. Wow, that's going to be really expensive, isn't it? Yeah, that's going to be quite expensive to uh, to redo that. Oh dear. Well, we probably should. Because we don't want this looking like a complete, uh, what's it thing, although I did just realise I've gone over the thing there. But, oh well. Now is that actually... Oh no, I think that's just a thing, so if I get off of that and... get back to uh, levelling... There we go, that'll do. Okay, so that's what the deal was. I had to put... Uh, actually lay the grass down. That's really expensive. Is there anything less expensive, grass-wise? Yeah, well, oh well, the more you know. <laughs> I mean, we could throw some bushes in. Some cheap, cheap bushes, but... Bushes and not. <laughs> yeah. Ah, well. Put a little bit more grass in just to pretty it up a bit. And we'll call it good. I don't want to be spending all my hard earned money on decorative stuff that's not even on the farm. Yeah. Well, there we go. Anyway, that's smartened it up. A little bit. Now it just looks like a total wasteland. <laughs> Smashing. Okay. Well, uh, now what else do we have to do on the farm today? Um, essentially, we're waiting for the uh, fields to grow now. Um, we do have another 200,000 odd litres of silage, which we could honk down to the uh, BGA there, get that processing. And I'm kind of thinking we may try and get a different trailer for that. But I'm not sure, because, I mean, it's just back and forth work. There's no reason we can't get uh, another trailer for it, and there's no reason we can't just use this one, to be quite honest. Um, not this one, but the, um, the one that we've got. I was hoping I could load the uh, loading wagon with it. But it doesn't um, doesn't like that for some reason. Like I couldn't just load it from the uh, from the thing. Um, what do you call it? Straight out of the uh, um, silo, which was mildly annoying. Uh, let's just pop that there for now. And try not to drive on the field. Although I think we'll be okay because it's only in its first first growth stage as we speak. Now those um, four pallets of lettuce that are left, we might just pop down to the store and sell them off. Um, depending on what the price is when the price comes up, if we need a little bit extra, we can do that. So let's was over here. See how the chickens are doing. Lovely. We got. Uh, Let's see, uh, hang on, it's not doing the eggs. Oh, there we go. 35 pieces of eggs. Oh, that's good. Hopefully they shall uh, 
Let's have a quick look at them on the thing. The health is good. Uh, we don't need to give them anything else besides more food at some point. Uh, yeah, so um, I guess we are good there. Let's have a quick look at the trailers. I don't think anything much was on sale. No, in fact, nothing is on sale. There you go. So, yeah, if I wanted a bigger trailer... I mean, the one we got there is yeah, 22 and a half. Anything bigger is going to be... I mean, we got that for 38, which is an extra 6. I mean, we've got class already, so there's no reason we can't stick with that for now. Yeah, we can convert our lorry to, um, or our tanker to a lorry and get something like that if we wanted to. That is an option. Uh, oh, hello. There's the Anna Burger trailer for 47 grand. Or 53 grand for 50,000 litres. That's a bit, bit long, that one. Um, that might be worth getting if we're going to be shifting a lot of silage that might be worth I mean we've got these class ones here um, but no <laughs> the uh, 44,000 litre Anna Burger is quite a bit cheaper than the 44,000 litre class trailer well that's rude that is isn't it that's a solid 20 grand cheaper wow Okay, so we're not going to get that one then. <laughs> uh, is there anything else that we've got silage-wise? Uh, we've got the Kawakos, similar price but slightly smaller. I think that's probably about it. Yeah, when we start going for these, it's more uh, they'll take everything and they'll be quite a bit bigger than what we're at at the moment. Uh, there's the Convernaland. It's a possibility again. We're going to want something at least um, 40,000 litres, I would think. Uh, I don't think we've got anything else here. Uh, oh, there's that. Hello. That's a bit on the cheap side. Oh, no. Wrong one. Never mind. <laughs> was, I thought we were on the uh, Lizard Tandem, but we were on the Random Dumper. Yeah. Oops. My bad. But yeah, I think uh, probably our best bet is 40,000 for 35,000 litres. Not bad. 50,000 for 48 ish. Yeah, 53 for 48 for the shooter marker. Shooter maker. However, we pronounce that one. I mean, for 40. Thousand. That's not bad. That's not quite double what we've got at the moment. So, yeah. I think if we're going to do that, we might as well go for something properly sized. I'm not going to get that though. Not yet. Not on this uh, series. Tempting though it may be. I think probably what we are going to do is get the um, Anna Burger that was. Uh, where was it? It was over here, wasn't it? It was like 47 grand, I think. I wish we could get the class one. Since we are running a class farm, that would be the option to get, really. But it's 20 grand over the price of that one for the same size. That would just be a silly, silly thing to do, I think. So we are going to plump for the Anna Burger. We're not going to pay five grand for a cover. And we are going to get the Feuerstein tyres, I think. Or maybe not, because they're more expensive again. We'll stick with the Trelleborgs. <laughs> that doesn't make a difference there. I think Trelleborgs were the cheapest tyres, weren't they? Oh no, it's BKT. Okay. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll stick with the BKT. That will save us some money. So that's uh, yeah, forty-seven grand even. Nice big trailer. Bob's your uncle. Okay, so we'll have to run down to the shop and get that. We are now back down to twenty-nine grand. The chickens are doing their eggs. 
and hopefully reproducing soon enough and we have another bunker silo to empty this one right here let's have a look see what we got in it 21,281 no 218,333 lovely that's interesting because it has gone down a bit there and also there in that same corner that we had the issue with over in that one so maybe it's just a filling issue if I uh, fill it differently and it doesn't push it in there and I don't make a point of it it might not be as bad but yeah another 220,000 almost litres of stuff to do so yeah that is fantastic so I shall get the uh, uh, what is it we're getting thing with a bucket this thing yes uh, where did I leave it I oh, parked in there never mind but we're gonna get this uh, this trailer or this silo emptied out shifted over and plonked in the BGA and I shall see you next time so if you've enjoyed whatever this was then please uh, give us a like and hit the old subscribe button too if you haven't already and comments are always welcomed and if you'd like to share this video that would be greatly appreciated and on that note uh, i do hope you enjoyed it and hopefully we'll see you next time on the no tractor challenge cheerio everyone <laughs>